When the parachute opens, there's quite a bit of force and you tend to sink down in the harness. So you wouldn't want to have um, a chest strap that went underneath and pulled mm -hmm. in really no, tight. I, I, I wasn't being uh, physician. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. So usually they tend to have the chest strap at a height where it just kind of goes over top mm -hmm. and that's the most comfortable. But everybody has their own personal preference on that. And some people like to have a harness that they do up really tight mm -hmm. because they feel secure. Oh, and other people yeah, like yeah, to yeah, have yeah. one that's really loose so they're not encumbered by it. And then the rest of us are kind of somewhere in the middle. So a lot of times what I'll do if it, my customer is local is uh, I'll make up the whole harness um, and container and pack the parachutes in it, but I won't sew this on here. And I'll get them to come down and then we'll just kind of try it. I'll, I'll just kind of lightly stitch it here. They can try it on and then I pick them up and then so they, they'd be supported by the harness and then they um, would decide, yeah, I like it or I want it a little tighter, a little looser, and then I can peg it right down and then and walk out well? Al, yeah. What is this else? Um, this is to open the main parachute. There's a little wee parachute inside here called a pilot chute. And what, is it, what does that mean? Uh, pilot chute, it's just the, um, the thing that starts the action. So it's a tiny little parachute about this big in diameter. Oh. And you throw it out in the wind, it inflates, and then... You're uh, still in the plane when you throw it out? No, 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 no in, in free fall. Oh, I see. And then it inflates, and um, it undoes a bridle that comes out here and then pops this little pin right here, this little curved pin. Yeah, yeah. And once the pin's popped, the container can open mm -hmm. and uh, the parachute's packed into a bag. Then it pulls the bag out of the container and the lines, which are stowed in uh, elastic bands, they unstow and they just kind of go pop, 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 pop really quickly. And as soon as the last stow comes undone, then the bag opens, then the parachute comes out, then it's allowed to start to open so that you, you are, do not allow the parachute to start opening until the lines are taut. If you can imagine the parachute being half open when the lines are still loose, when they get tight, it's going to be a real jerk, right? Uh, um, opening shot. Therefore, the, the, the person on the, in, the, in the parachute doesn't really control when this opens up. They do by, by pulling this out and throwing it away. That's, that, that's the activation of it. So you, you no, take but the, but the, 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 smaller, the smaller parachute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just pull it out, toss it like that in the wind, and it inflates and away you go. So that's how you start the process. The rest of it after that, just, um, yeah, so it would just... I got you, yeah. Yeah, and uh, it, it provides a fair amount of force, you know, maybe four or five hundred pounds. It is, yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and this one is uh, a special one called, it's collapsible. There's a little line inside that goes through the center of this bridle and um, 